in. Chance for the cross. This is the chance. Takes the shot off. What a brilliant goal. Hey guys, James or Just Rex here with episode 3 of my Road to Gold series. As we've just won the gold tournament in the last episode, we are going to move on to the silver tournament now. But I'm just going to show you what I've sold from the last episode, as you can see. We now have 108k, so Balotelli, we sold Eto, we sold Felipe Santana, and we sold Marin. Which is always nice. So I already had some of the Brazilian squad made, so 108k was pretty nice, but I didn't want to spend all of it. So I don't have the best Brazilian self team you can have, but it suits my need, which is quite nice. So as you can see, Eto 14k, but I tell you it was like 42, I think. But we didn't sell Shell, Sturridge, Tim Viva, Ben Arthur. So we still end up with about maybe 125, 130k by the time everything sells, which is quite nice as well. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what Brazilian silver team we're gonna be using now. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is the silver Brazilian team we're going to be using, so we're going to run you through that. And go, we have Marcelo, centre back Rodney, left back Julius Cesar, four star skill. I did not put that card on him, I don't really like using them cards. Centre back Zalau, very good, 73 pace, 81 heading, rock in the centre back, 8.7k for him. Leo Moore, a right back, look at those stats for a right back, he's not the best defender, but he's very good in the attacking role, a very good shot. Centre attacking mid or playing centre mid anyway. We've got Jar Jar, his five star skill. Leonardo Wesley in the attacking positions. We have a Nino who I've always liked, FIFA 12 and FIFA 13. And we have Leon Leandro up front, 87 pace, very good. Right wing, Henrique, who is a beast. He is such a bargain in this game, I can promise you. He has 90 pace in game, I swear, he's so fast. But anyway, guys, we're going to move into the first game of the tournament, so. Okay, so we move on to our first game now in the first round. We're going to see what team we are playing against. We come up against the Silver Premier League team. Nicely built. Vazte up front. Makeda. Some nice players in there. Five back, which isn't very nice to play against sometimes, but, you know, I have to deal with that in the first round of the tournament. I thought it would be quite a difficult game, but as you'll see in a minute, I kind of dominated it from the beginning. Had a few scares in there, but it ended up coming out with a quite a nice victory. So we see our first goal now, which is just a bit of pace coming through. Nice little chip. Unfortunately, that one hit the bar. But, you know, get rebound header. Henrique, so good in this game. I can promise you he's one of the best players I've used. I did not expect him to be very good. I just bought him in a right wing fill up position for 2k. But I was going to plan on buying a better one, as you'll see in the semi final, I think, when I show you that one. But let me go for another goal. Just slams it right into the corner and have a beautiful goal there from Anino. Always nice to see. I don't think Leandro scores enough goals though. I mean, he's a very good player but he just does not get up there enough and get enough goals for me but I'm going to keep him in there until we hopefully win the tournament. We go through again with a Henrique there and just smash it straight into the top corner. Very nice. He's just stupidly fast really. <laughs> he's like 5 foot 5 if I remember. But then this kid comes back with a nice header from Vaz This keeper though he is no good. I did not know I wanted to buy all Brazilian keepers around like the same sort of stats. But that should not be going in really. Should save there. But you know I'm not going to complain. I was 3-1 up at this point. But then he comes back with another goal here. As he just passes it down the wing. Gets the run on my defender. Crosses it in. And Ben Teke with the header. Straight past my keeper again. I thought he probably should have saved that one as well. But you know... <laughs> Don't have to play with him for long, hopefully. I just want to get this tournament out of the way because this is definitely harder than the gold tournament. I find this one a lot harder. It's just the amount of pace silver players have. But then there, again, we get another goal of a Nino. His shot is very good. I think it's about 74 for a silver player. It just rockets. Very nice. And we go on to the next goal, which is a nice goal, I think, from Leandro. As I was talking about, he doesn't score, he scores a scream at the. Might be Leonardo, I can't remember, I'm not too sure. But it's a very nice goal nonetheless. Go straight to the top and corner. He comes back with a corner here, and Benteke finishes it nicely into the bottom corner. Aston Villa man seems to have a very nice card in this game. Nice silver 81 pace, I think. I'm not too sure though. But then we pull up one back here to secure the victory with Henrique, who just paces his defence once again. And luckily slots underneath the keeper to give me the victory here. So, very nice way to win the first round. Probably shouldn't have conceded the goals I did, but not all fault of my own the keeper is shit but uh, whatever I'm gonna take the win so you know as we can see there you just see the win and Henrique is just beasting it at the moment so hopefully that continues into the next round so guys hope you enjoyed watching this episode sorry there's only one game but I could only fit one in because it came to a five minute episode 
but don't worry, you'll see three games in the next episode, which will hopefully include the final by the time I get there. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.